So hey, the purpose of this video, fellas. Clap uh, your hands first. Oh, I gotta clap my hands. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, uh, Frank Cox here. Tom's holding the camera. We're gonna show you real quick how to find top dead center of any you know, cylinder shaped vessel so that you can lay out your whole cooker basically. That's what you need that for. Um, our door is not gonna start at top dead center. It's gonna start actually around the other side a couple of inches. But for the sake of argument, we're gonna level this tank up so that the whole process works. So we got these saw horses here. We only got one leg to stand on. So we put a board in here and a shim. And we got the tank here as close as this Harbor Freight torpedo level can say it's level. Anyway, I moved it just now a little bit, so it's pretty darn close. That, and we laid a four-footer across it, and there is a little bit of a hump. That's why I chose this level. So anyway, we got it level long ways. Now, we're just going to kind of have to go with it, I guess, with the legs, because for rotation on this, there's no way to know that the tanky that built this tank put them legs on right. So we're going to go with where it's at. Now, uh, the next thing I would tell you is that when you're looking at it from this side, pay attention to where bungs are and stuff on your on your tank. So the guy we're cutting this for, Brother Bruce, um, you know, he wants the firebox on his right-hand side and he wants it on the flat end. So that end right there is gonna be firebox. He wants his door on the firebox on the right. So this is the door side of the cooker. And we're gonna roll it down from top dead center to miss this bung. Right here, about one inch past that is where we decided we're going to go. So, but to get a straight bearing on this tank, we're going to use this thing here called a uh, centerhead square. This one I got off Amazon. I prefer to get one that this is steel so that the magnet on the level sticks to it. Otherwise, if you get a stainless one, it don't stick, I found out. Anyway, and then you're going to put this level on here and you're going to look at the plumb number here. And as you roll around, if you note, know, it's going to go ahead and find top dead center for you. Now the center of this V is your center head. So we're going to make a mark right there with this handy dandy. You have one? This one here I've used before. <laughs> <laughs> Tom says I use them for center punches and make it flat. When we get that center right there, and then we're going to make us an arrow. I always make an arrow so I know which end of the line was actually the mark, right? And we're gonna go to the other end and do the same thing. So I'm gonna turn around here. And I'm gonna come up here, too far, going back. Boom, right there, it's pretty darn close. Boom. So now I got an arrow at each end, so I know where to go for my layout. <clears throat> now, if you want your door to offset around, like in this case, we're gonna take a wrap around kind of a pipe wrap or a tape measure. We're gonna measure from that arrow, and we're gonna go all the way down here and measure that length. And we're going to carry that mark down to this end. That's where we're going to start our top door cut. So anyway, there you go, guys.